What's up guys, welcome to the first Mondays with Macau. Uh, this is like a new series that I'm going to be doing, I guess you could say. Uh, just like a podcast series, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But I'm just going to be talking, chilling and you know, it's not at all about the video. I am playing surf right now just because it's very relaxing and it doesn't require too much of my attention as you guys can see, you know. I can pretty much be uh, doing it while I talk, but this I'm not sure how this is how long this is going to be to be honest with you, but it will be like an edited, so it's very very easy to make, very easy to upload. And my main objective with this is just I guess to get personal or just to talk overall, you know, there's just some things that I don't really want to make a YouTube video about it or you know, I just feel like mm, making a YouTube video about with this certain topic might not be the best choice, I guess you could say. So we're doing this today, first one ever. Um, not really sure how this is gonna go, so you know, if you guys are listening to this or even listening and watching, um, if you guys could leave a comment down below telling me, you know, just what you uh, what you think. And mainly the talks that I'm gonna have about here, I mean, they might be gaming related, you know, some of them or a lot of the topics are gaming related, they're just not, um, I'm just not gonna cover them like in, in, in a YouTube video and I'm just gonna cover them here, I don't know. But uh, starting off, I guess we could start with university, like, Jesus fucking Christ, it's the most random thing I've ever seen, dude. Like, honestly, right now... I've received a couple of grades, the ones that I've received are actually pretty good, um, a lot better than expected, I will say that, but it, it's just kind of random, man, we have this one teacher, and I've talked about this on stream before, a lot of the topics that I'm gonna cover, you know, maybe I've talked before, but one of the teachers, Jesus Christ, I don't know if you guys have this as well, but there's this one teacher, okay, that he thinks that we only have his class. And what I mean by this is he gives us a project to do every single week. And you know, the first week the project was like was fine and then the second week it got a little bit harder and then the third week was like what the hell is this? And you know, I believe we are in the fourth or fifth week in a row with this random ass project. And it's like he thinks that we only have his lesson, like only have his class. He thinks Oh my god, man, it's so annoying. And I'm gonna have a test this week about that subject. It's um, management of uh, communication projects, I guess, that how you, that's how you translate it. So that should be pretty interesting. I also have a management test. Um, that, should be <laughs> that should be pretty interesting as well. I swear to god, the teacher of management that we have is the most cocky motherfucker that I've ever seen. I actually think it's funny, like, the way he acts. But God, dude, everybody hates him so much. He's so cocky. It's unbelievable. Like, just the way he walks, just the way he talks to people. Like, he replies back a lot. You know, he doesn't talk shit, obviously. You know, he's a teacher. But, <laughs> but it, like, it almost feels like he does sometimes. It's, it's pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I've studied a little bit for it. I actually have that test today as you guys are watching this video. So making this, I'm making this on a Sunday, by the way. I think I'm just gonna make them Sunday night or something like that. When I don't really have anything to do and just relaxing. I am listening to music right now, but since I didn't have uncopyrighted music, uh, you guys are not listening to exactly what I'm listening, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put music in the background because I feel like it's always necessary, dude. Like whenever I hear some podcasts or anything without any background noise, I usually just have another stream open. So I'm gonna put uh, some sort of a background music, very low though, very low. And if you guys are wondering why I have the microphone in my face, it's just so the audio quality is better. And yeah, since it's not really about the video, I don't really, I don't really care that much. Yo, this this surf game, dude, this surf game is going well. Give me a sec. I know if you're not watching this, you're like, what the hell is going on, dude? This is supposed to be a podcast. Why are you focused on the game? I don't know, man. It's just really entertaining. But yeah, I guess we could talk a little bit about YouTube and streaming, and how things are going. So I guess YouTube-wise, things got a little bit stable, as in they're not really... Things are going up, obviously, but not in, in big numbers whatsoever, you know. 
But um, hopefully that will change once I, I once I get a couple of uploads in phase. I am working on my first episode. Um, not sure who is going to edit it yet, but I do have an idea. And if I can, I'm going to let um, Cutting Law edit it. Edit. Uh, okay, you guys, you guys get what I mean. I'm going to let Cutting Law edit the video. Um, you know, I'm going to give him time so he does a really, really cool edit because... I don't know, Cutting Law, there, there's a couple of people on my Twitch uh, channel that have been with me, you know, watching me for almost a year now, and, you know, I feel like I cannot give back to everybody, but if, if you know, if I can give back to one or two, I think it's, um, I think it's a nice thing to do, and Cutting Law has definitely helped me out a couple of times in the past, so it's time to, to give something back, and, you know, he will still be helping me out, you know, editing uh, a video so I don't have to do it because I'm not a editing master at all whatsoever there was a time where I actually knew how to do some stuff like 3d syncing really well and you know like 3d on a map and actually look like it's on the map I used to know that type of stuff I used, I used to know how to do a lot of 3d stuff but uh, I kind of got bored of it and, and started just focusing more on streaming and that's that's what I did my man that's what I did Streaming wise things are going Okay, I guess they're going okay. We just reached 60,000 followers on Twitch. That is pretty insane And I know there are some people that uh, have some confusion to where I you know Why am I on Twitch? Why I'm not on MLG since I'm with FaZe and I have talked with FaZe about this and it, it's just you know It's just personal preference. Honestly. Um, I don't have anything against MLG. I think what they're doing is is really really great because honestly if you think about it nobody really like pushes call of duty like mlg is doing like, like there's no company out there that pushes call of duty like mlg is doing it so mlg is uh is definitely one of the biggest causes why call of duty like especially competitive wise is still alive you know they do it everything and i i'm i'm glad you know because i'm a part of the call of duty community but it's just the fact that I was with a Twitch first, you know, MLG appeared later. Um, I finally have some connections with Twitch, you know, I know some people here and there. Uh, bigger things might be happening on my Twitch page soon, aka in like January or so. I don't really know what's going to happen there. There's no, like, plans for it, but there might be some uh, things happening, aka front page, but who knows. You know, it's nothing is... Um, Nothing is safe, nothing is like set and done and ready. It's just a speculation, you know, I've been talking to some people here and there. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to do my best here. You know, I've been, since Advanced Warfare came out, I'm able to do longer streams now. Um, both Saturday and Sunday, I did six hour streams, I believe. And believe me when I say, after Black Ops 2 or at the end of Call of Duty Ghosts, year you know where i was just playing black ops 2 every day dude there were some streams where i couldn't even stream for three hours you know because i was just so tired and it was just like not appealing to play at all that i, that I would just stream for as i said less than three hours and i i, I was i always felt really bad, bad about it because you know there are people that subscribe to me on twitch and you know streaming for for that short a time it was um you know, I, I didn't really like it, but there was just nothing else to do. With Advanced Warfare, now we actually have something to do, and I'm starting to get back into Counter-Strike surfing as well, so I can stream it, because in the end, I truly think that if I just de dedicate myself to one game, it's just uh, it's just not going to happen. Of course, you guys know that I am in phase, because you need to dedicate Call of Duty 110%. Well... I am in phase, but things are, I guess, a little bit different with me. I don't know. I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but, like, I'm going to start streaming on phase every Thursday morning, I believe, European time. So, for all the U.S. viewers, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just I have university, and that is the schedule that I have. But, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna start streaming every week now that Advanced Warfare is out. Uh, probably two to four hours. Really depends on if it's raining or not, because I have... As I said, university that day, not really sure how's it gonna go, but hopefully it will be fine, man. And that's, dude, you should have seen, that stream is on MLG, right? The, the space stream, 
is on MLG. I was, dude, I was in so much panic because I thought if I would, you know, do that, I would break my contract with Twitch. But uh, I, I figured everything out, you know, I've talked with them, uh, make sure that everything is okay. Making sure that everything is okay, and everything is okay, so I am allowed to do it because I don't have any sort of contract with MLG. The only, like, one of the reasons I guess I could say that I don't have a straight-up contract with MLG as well is because they don't, like, they're an exclusive contract, meaning that if I would, you know, if I would partner up with MLG, I would uh, not be able to keep partnering up with Twitch, you know, and... It's just a personal preference, man. I don't have anything against MLG. I've said this before, but I wanted to make it clear because there's just some people sometimes that don't really get it, I guess you could say. Streaming-wise, I have big plans for the future. I have been on a little bit of a mental breakdown, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know. I was, just, I was just feeling down for a couple of days and I let some hate get towards me. It's And, and the reason why I let some hate get towards to me, I guess, was, well, first of all, I was feeling down, and second of all, it was from people that I knew they have been watching the channel for a while, so, like, people that have actually supported me, uh, they were, uh, they kind of, they kind of, you know, threw or throw or whatever, some hate towards me, and I, I just, I don't know why I got affected by it, but that is, that is past, you know, you gotta remember that haters gonna hate and potatoes, gonna potate, I, I know that, but, uh, so I, I got, I got a tweet the other day for a guy asking, um, if I would, you know, if my objective was live, with live streaming was just making money out of it, and it's, it's, it's not, dude, like, honestly, first of all, I stream for a very, very long time before I even start making, like, 10 bucks a month, okay, now, the only reason why I'm not saying, oh, I started streaming, you know, a lot before I, I would make money. No, it's because, like, it would automatically generate money. But for, for I don't know, for years on YouTube and Twitch, um, you know, it, it was less than 10 euros a month. You know, just so you know the value that we're talking about it here. So it's not really like I'm making any revenue from it. Um, my ultimate objective is just to be successful in life, you know, it might be with whatever, but right now, and for the past, honestly, like, I don't know, four to five years, my passion has been video games, and ever since I discovered YouTube, and started working on my English, so I can communicate better with you, you know, everything is just, it's just been a lot better, man, and I just love to do what I'm doing right now, my final objective, I guess you could say, like, legitimately final objective would be have the greatest community that I could have on Twitch with me. You know, just have a straight up big, big following and, I mean, just be able to, like, go live, hang out with thousands and thousands of people, talk about whatever, have a great laugh and... You know, knowing that that can be a possibility just fuels my energy day in and day out. And it's just it's just crazy, man. And that is what I want to do. Now, a lot of people think that my objective, it, it needs to be with Call of Duty. But it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, Halo is coming out. I just want it to be with video games overall. I just want to go live and hang out with people. You know, that's my objective. Hopefully one day it will come true, you know. Uh, Twitch keeps growing, uh, my channel keeps growing, as I said, big plans for the future. I'm hyped about it, man, but sometimes, you know, you feel down. I've had this conversation with uh, with a friend of mine. Sometimes you just feel down, you know, and one of the worst things that you can ever do, guys, just in case you're entering the YouTube world or entering the streaming world, whatever you're doing, don't start, like, comparing yourself with other people. Oh, these guys are doing this. I think I'm doing better than them, but I'm getting, you know, less ratings or whatever. Don't do not do that, you know. I was starting to do that a little bit and I was starting to feel down. It was, it was very stupid of me. You know, this is very, very stupid of me. With, with streaming on YouTube, I've had these up and downs emotionally, I guess you could say. And yeah, I mean, that that's that's basically it. On another news, I guess, I guess we still have a little bit of time. We can talk a little bit about 
grills. I don't really know what to say about that, dude. <laughs> oh my god. This one girl that I, you know, talk to at university, like, I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it, man. And I don't want to get too in-depth, because I think that is a little bit meh. You know, it's it's a little bit meh, if you guys can understand me. But, I don't know, man. We'll see what happens in the future. If good stuff happens, good stuff happens. If nothing happens, I don't really, you know, I don't care that much. Let's play this new surf map. Dude, this surf map is dark as hell. How long have you been uh, talking? About 15 minutes. Um, I don't know, man. I don't really have anything to cover today. You know, I've covered, covered about some simple topics. I, I guess every week is going to be around the same topics. I guess I could tweet it out, like topics that you guys want me to talk about. I'll do that next week. I like that idea. You know, if this keeps going forwards, I, I will do that. Definitely, no problem. Just tweeting it out and you guys can reply to me with whatever you want. I'll definitely be down with that. You know, we talked a little about university, about Twitch and the dreams and the goals. Oh, 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 another thing, like about dreams and goals. Dude, I just want to one day have my own gaming house. It's not, it's not like... I guess when I call it gaming house, it's just I don't. I just want to have a house where I do this as a full time. You know, it's not really a gaming house where oh anybody can join up and uh, you know, you just bring your PCs in and and you're fine. No, no, it's not that type. I just want to you know, have my own place with my own setup to have you know my own things to do what I want at the times that I want for how long I want. And, you know, one of my greatest inspirations, and I, I've talked about this, and a lot of people sometimes, oh my god, what a fanboy. But uh, Soda Poppin, definitely, man. You know, he made, he made it. He made it. You know, the dream was real, and we're working on ours, guys. I, I truly believe we can do it. It's just gonna take time, you know? It's nothing, nothing is easy, man. It's just gonna take a lot of time. To do that and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I don't know if I have a lot of energy in my voice while talking because it's a little bit light and I have I still have stuff to do bad I have I have fucking two projects I have two tests this week I'm gonna freak the fuck out man I hate it but if you guys enjoyed uh, leave a like or just leave a comment and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow don't forget how to check don't forget to check out the links in the description. That was a com that, that was a weird sentence. I don't want to talk too loud because there's people talking, uh, sleeping in my house. Jesus. And I don't want to make a lot of noise. So I'm going to end. I guess this first podcast was a little bit short. And next time I'll, I'll do this in a more organized way. It's just that I don't really have a lot of time with the tests. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, see you guys later. Thank you very much for uh, being a part of this.